Okay, my friends, so we're going to continue with the build. Um, I already went ahead and glued the, the wing spar into the fuselage, as you can see over here, and also added my speed controller. I always li like to keep the speed controller with enough airflow over them, so it's pretty much right in front of the fan. Uh, but the way I did this, pretty much, as you can see on top over here, you can see what I cut it. Before I added the spar, the wing spar, I cut a chunk off of it. Uh, what, what I wanted the speed control and I took off you know, this piece of foam which pretty much the thickness of the speed controller and the rest of it, the part that was on top I glued it back in place pretty much you know and read my wires my wires from it on the top of it uh, because you know uh, there is where I'm going to be hiding all my electronics pretty much on this this part over here on top so that's why I ran for to the top of it um, I was looking through my box trying to find some carbon rods uh, for the full flying tails but I actually I didn't find any so I'm gonna have to get some but I did found some flat carbon fiber you know so I just went ahead and put it here I mean they just to be safe pretty much it's strong enough without the carbon without the carbon fiber but it definitely made it even stronger now that I add this to it uh, okay the next step now is pretty much gonna be keep gluing uh, Pretty much the parts of the for the fuselage to it. Uh, I'm gonna make the make it that I can take the fan off of it. So what I'm gonna do right now, you know, I'm leaving the ducted fan off. And I'm just gonna keep adding to this, which is pretty much just two more, just these two of the of that shape, and then I have to make the thrust tube. So okay, my friends, let me go ahead and glue these two in place, and we'll keep going. Okay, my friends, so I glued them back, you know, pretty much in place where they're supposed to be. And what we're gonna do now is shaping and but before I do that I actually went ahead and glued these parts together too which is the rest of the tail of the jet. You can see you know the rest of it. And here's what I'm gonna show you exactly how, how is it that I did the intake to you know we have two different shapes. We have this one right here which is pretty much round with, with the 60 millimeters on the inside and the outside I don't remember how, how big it is but it's pretty much the same shape and this opposite one, which pretty much you can see is a round circle, all it has is the added extension to the top of it just to make it a little bit more like an egg shape pretty much. And the inside on this one is 70 millimeters, so you can see the difference on the foam. Uh, this foam, these rings, what cut with this shape, as you can notice right here. So what I'm doing is on the opposite side, I'm putting the one with the 70 millimeter shape on it. And what I'm, all I gotta do is pretty much cut the inside of it to shape and if you have a hot wire cutter, you know, this is actually going to be easy to, for you to do. But like I say, I don't have all my stuff here yet. So I'm going to have to do it a little bit more difficult. I'm going to take a, a whatever in the heck it is. I had a, a saw, pretty much a hand saw blade. You know, uh, over here. There you go. I got Benji right here. What are you doing, baby? I'm doing the truck. You're fixing the truck? Where am I fixing? I don't know what your tools are, but anyway, uh, I'm using this blade right here pretty much and it's going to cut off of it over here, you know, because this one has to be pretty much a cone, cone shape, because it goes from 70 down to 60, uh, pretty much, you know, to create a little bit of pressure in there, and you know, we have to try to keep this as even as possible, like I said, with a hard wire, it'll be a lot easier because you just put the bow in there and, you know, and just run it, you know, because you have the wood on both sides and give it a nice... So it's gonna be a little, bit, a little bit hard for me to do, but let me go ahead and get it done, guys. Okay, my friends, so here we got it. And, you know, on this side, we got the, the 60 millimeters exhaust. And on this side, as you can see, we got the 70, which actually I haven't tried this, but the fence should go in there. Well, it probably won't, because it, it tapers in, so it won't. Yeah, it only goes in a little bit. If I push it, I'm, I'm forcing it. So that's good, it's tapering. Uh, you see the transition from 70 to 60 pretty much. I don't know how well you can see this. Anyway. All right, yeah. What I'm going to do now is pretty much glue this on the back where it belongs pretty much. Uh, these two parts together from here. Like this and shape it the same way we did on the front. I'm going to cut me a small ring. Like you see this one right here out of wood. I'm going to glue it on the back and glue all, everything together. I'm going to shape it. All right, my friends. Let's let's do that. 
Okay, my friends, so I pretty much shape everything down, as you can see. I add a little bit of the, a quarter of an inch foam on top of what I used to, to make a more smooth transition. And I went ahead and cut the hole and drop my EDF in there. It fits nice and snug, so it doesn't even need screws, really. Because, you know, we got the, those ears right there are, are pretty much right against the wood. You know, so there will be no need for for screws and the EDF is in there tight. So okay, pretty much right here right now, the way it is, uh, I'm actually ready to test it, just to, to see how it sounds, you know, and it's gonna hey, go Daddy. in here. No, baby, I don't need right that one right now. No, Daddy don't need it. Don't open it, you know, then just the hatch is gonna cover the fan. Uh, the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is those wires, I don't like the way they look right behind the fan. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put, hook the battery to it and run it and we're gonna see what it sounds like. I'm pretty sure it's gonna sound more like a turbine because you know all the drag, I mean that fan, that, the fan is pretty much two foot away from the intake so it's pretty far from it and the pressure build on the back you know, is gonna help the sound too. So it should actually should sound like a turbine uh, but now let's hope I have the trust I need you know so I really don't want no cheater holes but you know on all the mud I did you know the you know because I did the calculation to make sure how big I needed to have the intake. Uh, right now I'm actually pretty good and of course you know we still have to put the cone over here but let's just go ahead and try it and see what happens. Okay my friends so I put my battery in, you know, and hook it up and run a full throttle and on full throttle with this battery, which is not exactly fully charged actually. Uh, you know, we're running 13.88 volts, volts, I mean, which is a for sale, of course. We got 635.7 watts and 45 amps, which is good. Uh, I think the wattage is, is, is good on it right now. And it's about pretty much hovering uh, probably half throttle, the, you know, uh, with the way that it is on it right now. Of course, you know, it's gonna get heavier, uh, but I'm expecting at least a one-to-one -one thrust on it, even though we have a small intake and an exhaust. But anyway, let, let me run it for you too, guys, and so you can hear it. Oh, one more thing, something that I just learned too. Uh, on this servo tester, you know, normally I've been plugging my a, a receiver battery on the back over here, and somehow I just find out this to the the red wire from the speed controller back fits, or I mean it doesn't really back fit, it fits the the servo tester too, so there is no need for the extra battery there. But anyway, let me run it. You can see it sounds good. And you see that, that turbine sound that you hear is pretty much what, what I was putting my, my fingers over here while I was you know, putting it on and off. So pretty much when I put the, in, the little nose cone over here, of course it's gonna reduce my intake a little bit, uh, but it is also you know, gonna improve the sound on it. So okay my friends, that's all we're gonna be doing today. Uh, I'm, next step, pretty much I'm gonna start working on the wings. I'm gonna need to figure out how I'm gonna do my full flying tails. Um, I'm actually also gonna go ahead and I may do this first, put, go uh, work on the nose cone thingy uh, for this point so I can check my thrust and the static thrust and pretty much the the wattage, you know, how, how much, uh, you know, how, how, what, what are the changes on the watts whenever you add this to it and see what is the difference on the thrust. So, okay, my friends, thank you for watching. Subscribe. See you next fly.